Oh, I look really pale and ugly. Haha, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lily day. If you're not having a lily day, hopefully I can make it a little bit better for you. Today I'm really like overexcited because I've had my first company send me products. <laughs> Basically in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup. Not that I do my makeup all that often, but like usually, usually I just put on like brows and sometimes a few freckles. But today I'm actually going to try and do like a proper like makeup look. I don't know how that's going to go because like I genuinely like never wear like full, full, full on makeup. Unless I'm like, I don't know, going out or something. But like, do I ever leave my house? Not really. So yeah, let's just like get into it, I guess. Also, the company, okay, I'm going to be like honest here. I don't completely know how to pronounce the name of this company, but I think it's Focolio. Listen, yeah, I'm dyslexic, so I don't know if the C is meant to be like, I don't know, can you see that? There, that's the name of the company. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if it's like Fossilure, Fossilure, or if it is meant to be a C, like Focolure. Um, let's just call it Fossilure. But yeah, so we're just gonna like try out all of their products. And I'm just like, I'm really excited, because isn't that really nice for like them to send me that? I don't know, like that's just really exciting for me. No one's ever like sent me stuff before. For my base makeup, I'm just gonna be using like my regular foundation. If you even think for a second that I use like some bougie foundation, then you can think again. I use the L'Oreal Paris foundation, and I'm pretty sure I've had that exact foundation for like seven years. I'm really like not a makeup guru, beauty guru, so I'm honestly pretty surprised that um, a beauty company would send me makeup. So like, thanks. Um, I'm kind of sister struggling to get out of the box. Oh, there we go. Oh, how cool is that? Look, it's like in the like free time, like, you know, like time, like clock. The packaging is a little clock. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Oh, and then look, you open it up and it's got a mirror in it as well. I always like when things like have a mirror in it. Do you know what I mean? Cause like, then you can do your makeup in it. Oh, and it's like a, like a good quality mirror as well. But yeah, oh look, you can see how I've set you up now. Literally on a candle and a book. So look how like nice those ones are. Look at like the shimmery ones. Look how literally nice that is. By the way, if you want to order from this company, I've got a discount code. What can I say? I'm a queen who does discount codes now. So you can use this code to get money off of these products. Um, and yeah, let's just like use them and see what they're like, I guess. I've been living off of this makeup. Like you can literally tell, okay? Look how literally disgusting all of my makeup is. <laughs> like, I don't ever get new makeup, so this is a really exciting day for me, okay? Also, where did I just put that foundation? That foundation I just showed you, I have no idea. Oh, it's there. Okay, anyway, so I'm just gonna start by putting on my foundation, and then, then we'll put on, yeah, let's just put on the foundation, and then I will, I will see you after I put on my foundation, because I'm guessing you don't want to, like, watch me do this, do you know what I mean? Okay, right, so I'm finished beating my face, and when I say beating my face, I literally do mean, like, beating it to the grave. I punch it so hard with this beauty blender, you don't even know. Um, does that look okay? I don't really know. Hang on, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see my face, because... That's kind of the point of this video, isn't it? Anyway, let's just leave the foundation alone. I have this like contouring palette, but I've lost my like my brush. So I don't have anything to put it on with. So maybe I won't be able to contour today. By the way, when I say contour, it's not even a contouring palette, it's a bronzing palette. Oh, where is that stupid little brush? It's so annoying because like, it's actually really irritating because I feel like I look really ugly without like bronzer on. Wait, okay, I'm just gonna try. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work out, but I'm gonna try just like, use my beauty blender to like bronze. Is that normal? I feel like it's for sure not, wait. Just like that. Okay, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Who knows, maybe I'll start a new trend. Or maybe this is already what everyone else does. Is it going any browner? I don't think it is, you know, wait. I don't know if this is having any effect, but I feel like it's for sure not having any effect. That did something right. By the way, I don't normally do this. Um, oh my word, what have I done to my nose? What have I done with, oh no. What have I done to my nose? Why does it look like that? The fact that this video is centered around makeup and I can't do makeup is honestly kind of hilarious. It looks like I've got a botched nose job. Look, I'm really sorry, yeah, but there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, there we go. That's the base of my face. I'm not going to touch anymore because I feel like I'm just making it worse and worse. Let's move on to eyebrows. 
from now on I'm gonna be calling this brand Fossil Yule. This is how it's spelled. You can decide how you want to pronounce it, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so that's how I'm gonna be pronouncing it. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm now gonna be doing my eyebrows with the Fossil Yule like eyebrow thing that they sent me. It comes in this little like thing, um, and it's basically, I don't know if you can even see it. I'm really sorry if you can't. Um, yeah, so this is the thing. And on this side, you have a spoolie. And on this side, you have, like, the actual thing that you do your eyebrows with. And also, it comes with, like, a spare, like, um, eyebrow colour bit. So you're not going to run out quickly. I've never seen that before. Bear in mind, I've never done my eyebrows like this before. So bear with me, but I will try. Um, let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Well, we really are getting up close and personal tonight. I might even zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe how ugly I look right now. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that's my first eyebrow done I think that literally took like a matter of seconds look at how good that eyebrow looks compared to that one that I haven't done yet I'm not I'm genuinely like I'm genuinely genuinely not just saying this this is the best like eyebrow pencil I've ever used as if that was so easy usually it takes me a long time to do my eyebrows that literally took like 30 seconds so a round of applause to fossil your anyway now let me do my other brow also i don't know if you're going to enjoy me being this close to you i'm really sorry if it's like too close but i feel like you're going to want to see me doing my eyebrows properly do you know what i mean next i feel like we should do eyeshadow right do you do eyeshadow next um, okay, right, so now I've got to choose out of these. I have, like, a nice little selection. What should I do for eyeshadow? I'm not going to lie, right, I'm a little bit nervous about this. Because I am not very good at eyeshadow, hence why I never wear it. But, you know what, we're just going to give it a go. I'm going to use... <laughs> Look at me just, like, looking for the easiest shade to use. I think I'm going to use the shade Cookies, right, which is like a orangey fall autumn kind of shade. Right, let me zoom you in again so you can... Okay, right. So yeah, as I said, I'm going in with Cookies, which is this shade here. Um, and let's just start, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's really pigmented. I literally, I literally put the tiniest bit on my brush and it is like so bright. Okay, there we go. So now I've done like the outer bit. I'm gonna draw on the other side. Okay, so now I've done, now I've done the cookie shade on just like the outer like wingy bit. Sorry, I don't know the technical terms. I'm gonna use grape soda, even though I'm not even sure if the colors go together, but I'm gonna use my I'm going to use my finger to do this bit. Oh, okay, that's an interesting combination I chose there. I've never seen someone put purple and orange together. Look at how... Oh, wow, no, that looks so nice. Literally, look at that. It's like lilac and orange. I've never seen that on an eyelid before. Don't you remember Christmas? Kate, I'm filming a video right now. Um, I want an electric toothbrush. Bye, love you. Okay, sorry about that, my sister called. Okay, right, so yeah, this is how the look is going so far. I am really, like, impressed by, like, how easy everything has been so far. Like, I haven't messed up. And I'm really good at messing stuff up. Now that I'm done with eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Fossil Your... Ooh, if I can open it. This is the Superstar Highlighter Palette. And I've never owned a highlighter palette, so I'm actually, like, beyond excited for this. If I can even get it out of the packaging. Okay, wait, wait till you see this. Let me peel this off. Look how satisfying this is, peeling that off the mirror. 
This is, oh hang on, can you see it, sorry. This is the highlighting palette. I've never had a highlighting palette. Okay, right, oh. Hmm, okay. I don't have a brush to highlight with. How can I show you these? I just realized this isn't. Can you literally see those? Okay, they don't look that good on camera, but oh my word, if you could see these in real life. They're literally like shimmering like the night star. Like the night star, literally shut up. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry, just quickly, I forgot to say, I've put Fossil Yours Instagram at in the description box. So if you want to go see like what other makeup they have, you can look at their Instagram account. It's like a genuinely like really good Instagram account. Like even if you don't want anything from their company they have like really nice like makeup looks and stuff so yeah that's in the description box if you want to see that I'm gonna use i'm gonna use that one the one with like the star imprinted into it i'm just gonna put that there oh wow maybe i went a bit too far i really underestimated how pigmented that was gonna be wowie okay well i'm definitely glowing there's no doubt about that um, put a little bit under the eyebrow because that's what people do. Now let's put a little bit on this side. Now let's put a little bit at the tip of my nose. And let's put a little bit on my cupid's bow. So here I am with my highlighter on. I feel like I might have gone like a little bit too far with highlighter or maybe like way too far with the highlighter hang on okay okay right I feel like it's time for lip gloss now so let's open all of my lip glosses this is what I'm the most excited for because I love lip gloss it looks like a Chanel lip gloss that is so like bougie oh wow okay let me like swatch that on my like wrist or something I'll put it on my hand that's the first colour. I feel like I'm so aggressive with how I open these things, but I'm not exactly an elegant person, as you've probably discovered. By the way, the first one, if you want it, was in the shade Koi B07, and this one is in the shade Peach and Blossom B04. So let's try this one. Ooh, I think I, I really like that one. Okay, right. That one is the, this one. They look really similar on camera, in real life they really don't. That one, that one's like more pinky and that one's more like red. So those are the two so far and then let's look at the last one. This last one is called, is in the shade Nude Plum and it's B01. Ooh. Oh. That's the last one there. Oh, also sorry about this, this is just like a scar on my finger, but look at that. Well, I don't know which one to use. I think, yeah, I'm gonna use that middle one, which is like a bit like of a pinkier shade, because I'm just gonna rub these off my hand. Um, okay, or maybe I'm not gonna rub them off my hand. Hi, sorry, the camera kind of died. Um, anyway, back to what I was doing. I was about to do my um, lips. So first I'm gonna line my lips with, with, um, this isn't from that company, by the way. This is just the NYX um, liner. So let me use one. Of, let me use the highlighting palette mirror to do that. Okay. So I've just lined my lips with the NYX um, pencil, but there's nothing actually like on them. Also, sorry, my lips are like so crusty and gross. But yeah. So now let's use the. Um, BO4 Peach Blossom lip gloss. Also, I don't usually wear anything with like colour on my lips, so this could be an interesting experience for me. Okay. Okay, right, that's my lips done. Also, sorry if this is looking all a little bit crazy, but like when I put on mascara, it will like pull it all together. Now, listen, I know that they sent me eyeliner. I feel like if I do use this eyeliner though, it's just gonna mess it up because I don't know what I'm doing. But if you're wondering, this, oh wow. 
this is what their liquid eyeliner looks like it's just like a really really thin i'm gonna like do it on my hand just so you can see how thin it is and then let me do that and just like Maybe I can do it because that is that does make it look really easy. Shall I try? I really don't know if I should try this eyeliner or not, but I'm really tempted to. Shall I? Mm. Shall I not? I'm gonna try do this eyeliner. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so just as I thought, I ruined it with the eyeliner. I look like an 80s horror movie with this eyeliner. Look, okay. This eyeliner is really good, yeah? It's really thin, you can do it well, if you have the talent, but I don't have the talent and I knew I didn't have the talent, so I don't know why I tried to act like I have the talent to do eyeliner. Anyway, we're just gonna pretend that the eyeliner doesn't look like this, and we're just gonna put on the mascara and just, just finish this video up because I'm really, really, really annoyed at myself that I put on the eyeliner. You don't know how angry I am inside. Mascara. Let's finish off this look with some mascara. Okay. I feel like the mascara makes the wing eyeliner look a little bit less bad as well, so that's good. Okay, right, I've just done my mascara. Right, and now, I'm thinking like should I put on lashes because if I put on lashes then that will hide how badly I've done the winged eyeliner so I feel like that's quite a good idea so I'm going to put on these GWA lashes they're from Primark okay okay first lash is on now let's move on to the second lash where is it okay look I don't have the energy for this universe can you just please tell me where that eyelash is six and a half hours later oh here it is Thank you so much, universe. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh actually, hang on, it's nearly there. There we go. Where's that little stupid spoolie thing? Where are you stupid spoolie? Th oh, there it is, okay. Oh my word, there's so much hair on this. Let's just push that down a little bit more. Right guys, so this is the finished look. It's like very out of my comfort zone, I'm not gonna lie, but I do like it. I'm gonna go like take some selfies now whilst I actually have makeup on because I feel like this is a rare occasion for me. Oh, it looks nice on. Oh, I'm gonna get some nice selfies, nice selfies. Look how much of a mess I made in the process of this video. Okay, anyway, that is actually the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you appreciate this moment of me having this much makeup on because this does not happen often but yeah if you did enjoy this video then please leave a like subscribe down below and turn your post notification on so that you know when i post a new video and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye